Hello, this is Nozman from the Maxon Training Team, and in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to generate non-overlapping rigid bodies like these using the push-apart effector so that we don't have explosions when using rigid bodies. Let me quickly show you my setup here. I'm going to turn off all these effectors. And here we have a sphere which we are going to fill with uh, clones. So I'm going to make this invisible. Go to the cloner and in the cloner I've set it to object. I've dragged this filling object over here and I've set the distribution to be volume and I've set uh, the spheres to be just over 1000. You can change this and have a different number of them. Now I do have this um, random effector here and if I turn it on you will see that it does two things. First of all it's set to have a min of uh, 0 instead of minus 100. And in the parameter, I've set the scale to 2. So it's creating anything from original size up to 2 times the size of these spheres. Now, if I leave it as it is with my rigid body over here on the cloner and I press play, we're going to have an explosion. And the reason this happens is that in the first frame, the simulation system is going to try to make these spheres not intersect. So it's going to try in the second frame, on the third frame, and by the time each sphere is not overlapping with another one, they have already acquired a certain velocity, which makes it look like an explosion. And if this is what you want, then that's fine. But let's assume you want them to be in a rest state. In that case, you're going to use a push apart. Now remember that the spheres here have different scales. So make sure that in the effectors tab, first you have a random effector which controls a scale, and then you have the push apart. And just by adding them in that order, you will be able to achieve that. So the push apart effector over here has the push apart mode on. And if I turn it on, I need to make sure that the radius is similar to the radius of the clone. Here the radius is 10, I've made the push apart radius 11. And the other thing is, depending on the number of objects you have, you may have to increase the iterations by quite a bit. So if you go to 10 iterations, you still have a lot of these spheres that are overlapping, so you will have some sort of explosion. It won't be as bad as the original one, but if you go high enough over here, 150 is the number I found. If I press play, you will see that nothing moves until the turbulence will come into play, which now is off. And that's all you have to do. The modes you can use in the push apart is push apart, which will actually make these move away from each other. And it's going to use a number of iterations to do that. The other mode is scale apart. This mode is going to force the clones to become smaller until they stop overlapping. So you won't have the accuracy that you wanted here, but it will still work. And the last one is hide. It's going to hide the ones that overlap. Now you're going to have much fewer of these spheres, but still no overlaps. My favorite is the push apart, and I just fiddle with the numbers. And now I'm just going to add a little bit of a turbulence that is easing in from frame 30 to 40. And now my animation starts with no movement whatsoever because there are no overlaps and then the turbulence is going to take over and animate the rigid bodies. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.